football tournament points on read this and then we'll have a quote in a football tournament six teams a b c d e and f participated every pair of teams had exactly one match you know for any team a win fetches two points a draw fetches one point and a loss fetches no points both the teams and e and f ended with less than five points so at the end of the tournament points table is as follows some of the entries are not shown nice nice simple framework simple tournament a plays with b c d e f b plays with the rest c plays with the rest each one gets to play five matches uh, if they win everything they'll get 10 points they lose everything they'll get zero uh, draw gives you one point for each match right nice a uh, bunch of things that i just straight away jump out they totally each of them plays five matches so 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 30 total number of matches is 30 by 2 15 or 6 c2 which is 15 15 matches get played the one other feature that i give me a second i'm just going to fix this the one other feature i really like about this format a win gives 2 loss is 0 and draw is 1 so if a match is 1 then one guy gets 2 other guy gets 0 drawn both get 1 so the total number of points for each game is 2 so the total number of points that all of these guys should have got together is 30 Number of matches is fifteen. Total number of matches is fifteen. Total number of points is thirty. E gets less than five. F gets less than five. Some simple inferences. I like these two one zero formats instead of the three one zero format. In three one zero, the total points overall could vary because a win will give you three and zero. A loss is one and one. Every sorry, a draw is one and one. Every drawn match contributes only two points. Every decisive match contributes three points. That gets tricky. This is simpler. Let's play on. Let's read on. Uh, it is known that team B defeats C and team C defeats team D. Nice, thank you. But we don't even need to go there. We can fill this table pretty easily like this. The number of losses is zero. There's two points to the win. Suppose the x wins are there. Five minus x draws will be there. And so, with totally there five matches. Loss is zero. This is two points. That is one point. So. So, if all five matches were wins, it'll be ten points. Four matches are win, and one is a draw. It'll be nine. For eight points, it'll be three wins and and two draws. So, because this column is completely filled, wherever the full points are given, we can fill this entire table. So, let's let's go ahead and do that. And so, two times win plus draw should be the number of points. So, it should be three wins and two draws. Two losses are already there. So totally six points. Three wins will give us six points. Three plus two is five. This should be zero. We can frame equations and do the three zero two one. I'm just doing a simple exercise. Two points, two are losses. They don't give us any point. Three and zero will give us six points. Two and one will give us five points. Two one. So C has had two wins, two losses, and a draw. B has gone. B has had three wins, two losses, and no draws. A has had three wins, zero losses, and two draws. D has got five points, so should have had two wins and two draws. Will take it to six points. One win and three draws. Yeah, that should work. One win is two points. Three draws, one point each. One and three takes us to five points. Nice. This is completely filled. We don't know about E and F. This should be less than five. This should be less than five. Nice, nice example. Now let's see the total number of points. Eight plus six is fourteen. Add these two, it comes up to twenty-four. Fourteen plus five plus five, fourteen plus ten is twenty-four. So these two should add up to give six points. Why the total number of points is thirty? We've already seen that thirty points totally. These four fellows get twenty-four totally. These two should get six each. So it should be either four and two or three and three. E is and then F is lesser than E. Four two or three three. With each of them has got less than five. Nice. So far so good. We filled all of this. Let's build on this. E plus I six. So now uh, let's think about the total wins and total losses. We add all of this. Three plus three plus two plus one. That is nine wins. If you add all of this, that is two plus two plus one. Five losses. Wonderful. Nine wins and five losses. Remember the number of wins and number of losses. Should be the same. Number of wins and number of losses should be the same overall. If A wins a match, that means somebody else has lost it. If C wins a match, that means somebody else has lost it. Right? Now there are totally six points that these two 
Oopsie. These two put together get six points. It could be six draws or one draw, one win and four draws, two wins and two draws or three wins and zero draws. And overall, putting everything together, the overall, overall combination. Right? Now, F, E should have got four or three points. F should have got two or three points. E is more than F. Both of them are less than five. Nice. So far, so good. So, we should have uh, both E and F got less than five points. E has had only one loss. So, if E has one win and three draws, one win and three draws, this is two plus three, five points. E has had only one loss, but E cannot have five points. So this is ruled out. So E cannot have even one win. So e should have had zero wins. It means E should have had four losses. Four draws, sorry. E should have had four draws, one win, one loss and four draws, resulting in four points. That means F has got two points. F could have got two points by either one win and zero losses, I mean one win and zero draws or zero wins and two draws. So it's either one, four, zero or zero, three, two. One of these two combinations, one, four, zero, zero, three, two. One of these two combinations for F. E could not have had a win because if he has a win, he'll get at least five points. That's not possible. E has got less than five points. Wonderful. One, four, zero, zero, three, two. Now think about this. If he had, let's go to have some simplify this either one four zero or zero three two the one four zero looks unusual the last guy having won a match and lost everything else one four zero means f has got zero draws b has also got zero draws e has got four draws e plays with a b c d and f he could have drawn he should have drawn against four of them b and f if they have zero draws, that's not possible. There's only one guy with zero draws. He cannot have, he cannot, have not drawn with B and F. That's not possible. Because then he'll have only A, C and D remaining. He cannot have four draws. We know that for sure. So this is out. This is how the scenario looks. Zero, three, two for F. Zero wins, three losses and two draws. Let's fill that in. Finally, we know B defeats C and C defeats D. So out of the three wins for B, C is one of them. Out of the three wins, for two wins for D, for C, D is one of them. So C has lost to B, D has lost to C. And so far so good. Now we can fill data points one by one, one by one, and then, and then fill this in to know not only how many wins, draws and losses are there, who have they won, drawn or lost against. Okay. Let's see if we get some, some simple points, some easier ones. E and F have no wins. So E versus F should have been a draw. That means E has drawn with F, F has drawn with E. The moment I write that E has drawn with F, I know E has drawn with four people, not B. So E has drawn with F, A, B, C. Or A has drawn with E. C has drawn with E. F, A, D, C, sorry. And D has drawn with E. We can fill all that in. So every time I put e, A and E as a draw, A should come here, E should come here, so that I have some more clarity on what I'm doing. Wonderful. A has drawn against E. A has won against three players. If we can find out whom he has won against, that will be good. A is drawn against E. Might A have drawn against F also? That seems possible. A has drawn, not drawn against C. Because C has only one draw. That is sitting here. So A has won against C. Oops. A has won against C. That means C has lost against A. B, A, D, E, there's only F remaining. That means C is one against F. That means F is lost against C. We keep filling in data points step by step, one by one. We should get through. 
I'm going to have a crack at it. I'm thinking we filled out the E, which is F. E drew drawing with everybody else. That part we have filled out. Let's go next. B does not draw a match. E and F don't win anything. That means B should have won against E and F. So this should be C, E, F. We have accounted for B's three wins. We know A has only decisive matches. A only wins or sorry, A has does not have a loss. B does not have a draw. So B has not won against A. So this should be B. B sits there. Lovely. B should have lost against A and D. C, E, F get accounted for. A and D should be the losses. That means D should have won against B. That means D did not uh, win against anyone apart from B. Is lost to C. Is drawn with E, F, A. That means E and D should feature here. D already features here. And A's other draw should be with D. Or A has won against B. E and D are there. C and F. So C, F. That means C is lost to A. F is lost to A. In fact, this is completely filled A, E, D. We have only B and C remaining. F is lost to B and C. So B should have won against F. That's already sitting here. F has lost to C. C should have won against F. F should sit here. So D, F, B, A, E, C is complete. B, C, F, E, D, A is complete. C, E, F, A, D, B is complete. B, C, E, F, A, D is complete. A, C, D, F is drawn with A, C, D, F. The missing one is B. B sits here. E is also complete. A, B, C, D, E, F is also complete. So you've got the entire grid. How many wins, how many losses, how many draws for each person? Against whom did each person win, lose and, and draw with? You've got the whole grid. All you've got to do now is to answer the questions. Total number of matches ending in a draw. A has drawn two matches. Two plus one, three, six, ten, twelve. There are twelve draws that are sitting here. That means six matches have been drawn. If A versus E is a draw, that will get counted here and here. I'm double counting when I do this sum. So it cannot be 12, 12 by 2, 6. Six matches are draws, not 12 matches. There have been 12. Each team, if you count the number of draws by each team, that is 12. Total number of matches that have been drawn is 12 by 2, 6. Which team had the highest number of draws? Four draws to E, done. Total points team F scored was 2. Oopsie. Which team was not defeated by team A? Team A drew with E and D. They won against B, F, C, E and D. Only D is there in the choices. D is the answer. Team E was defeated by, team E was defeated by B. He drew the other four. Only team B 